Hi there, welcome to What's Cooking. Today is Wednesday, and today we are going to be making skillet lasagna. Super easy, you don't even have to boil the noodles. I'll teach you how. So, the first thing we need to do is wash our hands. Remember, very warm water, because warm water kills things way better than cold. I wish my son would learn that. And we are going to be washing them for 20 seconds. The goal here is to create as many bubbles as you can. Because the bubbles are part of what takes care of the bacteria. Make sure you're using a lot of friction. Uh, because friction will scrub those off. I go up my wrist, good practice. We're going around each one of our fingers, getting in between each one of our fingers, around our thumbs. I know this seems very redundant and it seems like forever. If you have to, sing happy birthday a couple times. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Whatever you gotta do to make sure you're doing this for 20 seconds. Get up underneath those fingernails because that's where a ton of bacteria lives, guys. And we don't even realize it. A good practice right now would be to make sure you're keeping your fingernails short. I know most of us can't get to the nail salon. Thankfully, I do my nails here at home anyway. We're going to rinse off thoroughly. And then we're going to use paper towels to dry because our kitchen towels are seriously nasty, guys. Think about it. We walk around them, we wipe our hands off if we have something, maybe without even washing our hands. Uh, sometimes our pets rub up against them. Um, they touch pretty much every surface in our kitchens. And then to shut our water off, we're not going to use our clean hands. We're going to use paper towels to shut our water off. Um, I make my own disinfecting wipes. I have two containers like this. I cut a roll of paper towels in half and then place the roll of paper towels in here. And it is one and a half cups of hot water, a quarter cup of 91% rubbing alcohol. You can use 70. I like to use the higher percentage and then four to five drops of dish soap. Remember I said the dish soap, or the soap is what helps take that uh, fatty layer off the bacteria and things like that, even viruses. And it allows everything else to go into that germ and kill it. So disinfecting wipes. You pour that mixture, that is the mixture for one half of the roll of paper towels. You pour that mixture over the paper towels. You let it sit for a few minutes and then you pull the core out, the, paper, the, the cardboard core out, and you have pop-up disinfecting wipes. Now I disinfect every surface before I use it. Because there are a ton of germs floating around in there. Okay, let's go through the list of what we need for our uh, recipe. This should be super simple, guys. Um, I used about a pound and a half, pound and three quarters of 80-20 ground beef. I use 80-20 because that's about the right amount of fat in there to keep it really flavorful and really juicy. I used a medium onion, and I went ahead and I pre-browned that hamburger with the onion in it. Um, you can put a green pepper in there if you like. We're not big on green peppers here, so I did not use green pepper. Um, 
a jar of spaghetti sauce. Any spaghetti sauce, I like to use uh, spaghetti sauce with not a lot of um, sugars in it. So I buy um, a little bit more expensive spaghetti sauce just because my family has a history of diabetes and I'm trying to take care of that. I also really, really like garlic. And usually I will have fresh garlic on hand. I don't right now because I haven't been to the store in a while. So as you can tell, I really like garlic. So we'll put that in with our hamburger and our spaghetti sauce. Um, let's see. Our typical Italian seasonings. We have oregano leaves dried, basil leaves dried, and parsley dried. And then we have mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese. And guys, every single bit of this, you can get at Aldi's. I'm a huge Aldi shopper. Um, I think the quality is just as good, um, sometimes if not better. So, okay, how we're making this. Um, I have browned the ground beef. I added my onion. Oh, I forgot the most important ingredient in lasagna. I buy the oven ready lasagna noodles. This way we don't have to pre-cook them. We don't have to worry about them sticking together. It's such a pain in the butt to make lasagna noodles. So I buy these oven ready ones. I've had a lot of success with them. Um, you do have to keep an eye on your food so you can make sure the lasagna noodles are done. But so much easier, guys. And they're the same price as the regular noodles. Again, I get these at Aldi's. So let's go ahead and move over to the stove. Oh, that's not a great picture, is it? So, like I said, pre-ground the ground beef and the onion together. I'm going to turn this back on now. We're going to turn that heat to medium. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of the garlic. Now with these oven ready noodles, there's something really important to remember about this. For every five noodles you use, you need to be using a half a cup extra water in addition to like your spaghetti sauce or something like that. I am not gonna do that. That recipe did not call for diced tomatoes, but I am going to put some fire roasted diced tomatoes in with it too, because we love these. And this has juice in it. So this is what I'm gonna use for that extra half a cup of liquid. So we are going to, as soon as I find my little spatula, rubber scraper, we got admonished in school for not, for calling it a spatula. It's a rubber scraper. So we're going to add our spaghetti sauce and make it into a meat sauce. Let's stir that in real quick. Smells delicious. I could eat just meat sauce all day, every day. And mine is really, really super thick because I added a little bit more hamburgers than what it called for. I probably added two pounds. And our tomatoes go in. That's pretty thick still, so I may add some water. 
In fact, I think I will. Just to thin it out a bit. And to make sure our lasagna noodles cook correctly. So I'm going to do about a half a cup of water. And while that's warming up a little bit, we're going to cook this in a heavy cast iron skillet. I love using cast iron because it heats a lot more evenly. If you have a good season on your cast iron, it will look like less and it'll be nonstick. So you don't need those big fancy nonstick pans, except for these are probably just pricey. Find one in a garage sale somebody is getting rid of for next to nothing. Clean it up with, you know, some steel wool or something like that. You know, just scrub it really, really good. Make sure there's nothing sticking to that surface. It needs to be a nice flat surface. And then you are going to coat it with a very, very light coating of vegetable oil and put it in your oven at about 275 degrees upside down. So I'm talking a very thin coat of vegetable oil. If not a thin coat, you're gonna have oil on the bottom of your stove or your oven and it's not gonna be great. It's gonna smoke and it's gonna get everywhere. Uh, but that should return the nonstick seasoning. Um, so 275, I do a half hour, 45 minutes. So if I get something stuck to this for some stupid reason because I forgot about it or whatever, I will scrub it with the steel wool and SOS pad, same difference, um, and re-season it. And I just kind of watch how it looks in the oven every now and then again, I check on it. So there's that. We're going to open our lasagna noodles. And this calls for six cooked and rinsed. You can certainly do that. We also need to put in our basil and oregano. So a teaspoon of each. I swear I have Italian in me. My DNA says otherwise. But I love Italian food. And I love Italian seasonings. A lot. I'm not gonna put the basil in at this time. Oh, that smells amazing. Uh, I will save the, or I'm sorry, I'm not gonna put the parsley in. I'm gonna save the parsley for the top when it's done cooking. So I think that's good and mixed in. Now, the next direction says spread a quarter cup of the meat sauce. So, we're going to use a quarter cup. Spread a quarter cup of the meat sauce. And we can turn that down. Along the bottom. And that is not very much, let me tell you. I'm going to put just a bit more because I'm afraid that that is going to burn and it's going to burn bad because you have to put some lasagna noodles on top of that. So I'm going to say a half a cup. And this is a 10 inch cast iron skillet. 
We're gonna take our lasagna noodle. And we're gonna break it and just arrange them in there. And you probably want to work faster than what I'm working. Okay. Here's one layer. So then it says layer half the remaining sauce. And there is quite a bit of sauce here. Scoop should do it. So it's about half the sauce, and I am making one heck of a mess. Just say, folks. Half the sauce. And it calls for three cups of mozzarella cheese. So right now, we're going to do about a cup and a half on this layer. So this is a little stuck together. I need to break it apart a little bit. So we'll do, since this is a half a cup, we'll do three of these. And yes, I am notorious for making messes. There's not much left in that bag, so we're just gonna finish that bag off. And then we're gonna put some Parmesan cheese on it too. I'm gonna go pretty liberal. I like Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna put more noodles on here. I think I'm gonna go with more noodles than five. I have a big pan. I'm going to break this one up a little bit. Woo! Noodles apply it. I'm going to throw that one back. And we're going to use the rest of the sauce in here. There's the rest of the sauce. Make sure our noodles are nice and covered. That way they get soft and absorb that liquid. And we're gonna put cup and a half, maybe more, because I like cheese. I like cheese a lot. Doesn't quite like me. Okay. I'm allergic, supposedly allergic to it. Sometimes
time this just And some more furniture. Now I have this on medium heat. We're supposed to let this go on medium heat. Ooh, what a mess. For three minutes, covered. And then reduce the heat and cook it for 35 minutes. Well, then, 35 minutes start. So that's that for today. I will post a picture of this when it's done after it's finished cooking, and I'm sure those noodles are cooked. I'm going to add that parsley. Um, at the end of it, it says sprinkle with some more mozzarella and let it stand for 10 minutes with the lid slightly ajar. That way some of the, the moisture escapes and it firms up and it really sets up. Because if you don't let this sit, it's just gonna be a mushy mess everywhere. So once that's sat, I will add some parsley and then I will serve it for my family's dinner. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will post a picture of this when it's complete in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you're being safe. You're practicing good hand hygiene. You're staying in if you possibly can. You're taking care of yourself, your families, and your mental health during this season of quarantine. We love you. We appreciate you. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can reach out through our uh, website, which is thegatheringauburn.org, or through Facebook, you can catch us at thegathering-auburn. Have a great week, guys. I hope this inspires you for dinner. Talk to you later.